Welcome to my garage. We're here to talk about the most affordable car in the world, the Tata Nano. And we're going to tell you about the trip from the beautiful country of India and how it got here to my garage in Hollywood. Well, welcome to India, where we're here to see the build of Jay Leno's new Tata Nano. This is a Nano, it's not Jay's, and it's revolutionizing transportation in India. At around about $2,000, it means guys like these may one day be the drivers of the future here. A cow's just jumped out in front of me. I've got uh, two motorbikes to the left, trucks to the right. Driving in India is not for the faint-hearted, yet more and more Indians are starting to do it. The Nano is the car that's opening up India very, very fast. Well, this is the home of the Nano, just outside of Medabad. And inside, I'm assured, they're already starting to build Jay's new car. The plant was set up in record time of 14 months. The first car rolled out on February 2010. The biggest challenge was that we have loads of people traveling on two wheelers, a families of four people with two kids and parents, which is very uncomfortable and obviously not safe from the elements. The Nano presents the best option to begin with for a for person graduating from a two-wheeler to a car. The engine layout is what drives the shape of the car. Because the engine is right at the rear, it empties up all the space for people to sit in and maximize the space in the car for the same size on the exterior. The car had to be necessarily very, very easy to drive and very easy to maneuver in the streets of cities in India. That's why it looks like a big bubble. The tallness of the car actually enhances the interior space, but keeps the footprint very, very compact. The Nano has actually been a great ambassador for India. It's focused a lot of international attention on us. It's showed the world that we are capable of designing and making a very unique, cheap car, the cheapest car in the world, in fact. Well, this is the final assembly line, and it'll take 400 workers five hours to finish off the car. Finally, Jay Leno's Nano comes off the end of the production line. To give it that little extra Indian spice, the guys are putting a Go Faster Stripe puppet in the colors of the Indian flag. Hello, Mr. Jay. This car is going to Hollywood from Bollywood. I hope you like this design. Enjoy. Well, before Jay's car hits the road for the first time, we're having the Hindu tradition of puja, which is literally giving thanks to the gods, asking for their protection for the new owner and any occupants. Well, it's too good a chance to miss not to uh, have a quick play in the car before it jumps on a truck and then onto a plane all the way to LA. Take a look around the car. What makes this the most affordable car in the world? Well, they save money wherever they can. Notice only three lug nuts per wheel instead of four. When you're making hundreds of thousands of something, each lug nut is a big saving. Let's open the hood. Well, there's no engine in there. But you got your spare tire and your wheel, all your fluids. The engine is in the back. Obviously, I wouldn't call that a huge trunk. Unless you have like a Lamborghini supercar, then it would be a huge trunk. But there's, there's really not much trunk, but there's a lot of room inside. <coughs> Seats four. Now, to get to the engine, it looks like the hatch opens here, but it doesn't. You have to remove the seat or fold the seat down and open the panel. You'll see the engine, which is about this big. You could, in fact, if your engine breaks down, you can take it out, put it under your arm, and then bring it down to the mechanic. Could you fix this for me? So that's what makes it an affordable car. There's a lot of clever thinking has gone into this car. And when you compare it to what people in India normally would drive, like a motor scooter with three or four people on it, which is very dangerous, obviously, it's a safe, fun alternative. Here's an interesting fact for you. 
Uh, this car is half the price of this suit. Uh, this beautiful suit was designed by a fantastic Indian kind of designer named Mana Gangwani. Uh, he did a great job. He made some other clothes for me, but I think this looks quite good, don't you? My wife loves it. She thinks it's fantastic. It's an impressive automobile for the price. Now, before we take it for a ride, the big question is, how many dancers can you fit inside a Nano? Let's find out. The answer is all of them! <laughs> Well, I must say, you get a commanding view of the road. How fast are we going? About 75, which is pretty good considering the top speed of this car is only 63. OK, we cheat a little bit, but this thing is not legal for US roads. There's no, there's no airbag. There's no crash bar in the door. So we're going to take it to a test track and see how it goes. All right, before we take the Nano out on the LAPD test track, Officer Correa here is going to show me how it's done. So let's give it a shot. I don't think the Nano is going to do that. <laughs> Well, here I am finally driving the Tata Nano. And, uh, you know, it's a lot of fun. I mean, a car that's fun should put a smile on your face, and I'm smiling. Well, initial impression of the car, a very light car, very easy car to steer, very go-kart-like. Not an abundance of power, obviously. Every time I go into a corner and it kind of leans and I hear the tire, you know, squeal a little bit, it makes me smile like this. And the air conditioner is better than the air conditioner in our F1 McLaren. I have an F1 McLaren, and I had my air conditioning upgraded, and it's not as good as this. So, no, no, you might not be faster than the F1. You might not handle as good or break as good. But when it comes to air conditioning, you guys got it beat. So thank you very much. In fact, I'm going to take the air conditioner out of this Nano and put it in my F1 McLaren. That's what I'm going to do. You know, it's funny, I've driven a lot of early American cars, like Model Ts, and they have those half elliptical, some have full elliptical springs, and you get that kind of bouncy ride like this has. That's what it's meant to do. It's not meant to handle like a sports car. It's just meant to smooth out kind of bumpy roads and make the big bumps feel kind of like that. So it does a very good job. It's, it's a comfortable car. Uh, the seats recline. There's plenty of leg room, plenty of headroom. Impressive. Well, here are the facts. Two-cylinder, about 38 horsepower, 624 cc, something like that. Um, top speed, about 63 miles an hour, maybe 65 going downhill, maybe 58 going uphill, something like that. But that's okay. I mean, it's a great city car. It's uh, no different than all those little electric cars you see running around. And it's $2,700. It's amazing. I think future Nanos you'll see will be more and more high-tech. This is meant to be a simple, basic car for a lot of people who have never driven a car before or owned an automobile. And uh, that's what's happening here. But I think the future looks very bright. Remember, these people build Jaguars, they build Land Rovers, and they build this car. And I think you'll see uh, these cars evolve very, very quickly. In fact, this is going to be a classic someday. Cops are here. Party's over.